What are the five best neighborhoods to live in St. Albert and did yours make the cut? In this video, I'm talking about number two. Now, if you haven't checked out my number five, number four, number three picks yet, you can check out the playlist right here. Now, here's the thing. There's really no bad neighborhood in St. Albert, like Forest Lawn, Oakmont, both great neighborhoods that never made my list. I also really love the new developments going on in Riverside and Jensen Lakes as well. So these are just my top five picks. Please feel free to disagree or agree with me down in the comments below. Now, my name is Mike Banks. I'll be your host on this tour. Not only was I born and raised in St. Albert, but I still currently live here with my family. I'm also a local real estate agent. So if you have any questions whatsoever about living in St. Albert or moving to St. Albert, I'd be happy happy to answer them for you. Call me, text me, email me, however you prefer to communicate. My contact information will be in the description below. So what is my number two pick for neighborhoods in St. Albert? Let's check it out right now. And number two, Brayside. What is there not to love about Brayside? Brayside is located right along the Sturgeon River Valley system. So you have access, quick and convenient access to all the trails, which is what I'm walking on right now. It's centrally located in St. Albert, so you're close to downtown in the farmer's market. Super easy walking distance because parking can be a problem for that in the summer. And also the nice thing with being centrally located is if you're commuting to Edmonton, believe it or not, St. Albert's not a huge city, but if you're way in the north of St. Albert, it does add time to your commute. So being centrally located, it's nice, quick, easy jet out to get to Edmonton if you need to get to Edmonton. Now there's a nice range of affordable single family homes in Brayside, which is great considering how nice and close it is to the river. But there are some more expensive and higher value homes, which is actually where I am right now, Brayside Estate. So as they say in real estate, location, location, location. So if you're located on this nice, beautiful river valley, obviously your property values are gonna be a little bit higher. So some of the things I don't like about Brayside, kind of a common theme with some of these neighborhoods because they are a little bit, a little bit older. Brayside is actually one of the oldest developments and neighborhoods in St. Albert. Some of the development here began, began back in the early 1900s. So like some of the other neighborhoods I talked about, you can run into some renovation problems and root problems in the drainage, things like that. So let's head to the map now for a more detailed overview of Brayside. So this highlighted area here is Brayside. So the boundaries of Brayside to the south here are Sir Winston Churchill Ave, runs all the way along here. Now this is grayed out because it's technically part of Forest Lawn, but this is worth mentioning because this is Fountain Park Recreation Center. And as you can see, it's quite close to Brayside. So there's a swimming pool, racquetball courts, squash courts, there's an outdoor tennis court. This is a, it's a really cool spot to, to check out. So Sir Winston Churchill runs all the way along the south and sort of the east part of Brayside where it connects to the northeast part, which is Boudreaux Road. This grayed out area here, we already talked about this. This is Woodlands and here's that water, that spray and splash park and the skateboard park. So Boudreaux is running all the way up to the river and the north part of Brayside where it swings around and the Surgeon River to the west and sort of northwest side run all the way along Brayside, which is just again, another one of the reasons why this is such a desirable neighborhood. And then connecting to St. Albert Trail to the west and sort of southwest, but this is that main artery running north and south all the way through the city. And just for reference, this is where I was walking and talking earlier, this part right here on the trails. And it's also worth noting that it doesn't show up on the map here, but if it did, these would all be red here. So this is a St. Albert shopping center. There's a Canadian tire here, a Starbucks and a gym over here, a second cup on the corner here. There's a transit station right here. So there's a lot of conveniences and amenities going on right here. And the really cool part is it's roughly, it's about right here. There's a footbridge, so a walking bridge that connects Brayside across the river to all of these con conveniences and amenities right here. And again, this Sturgeon River Valley, the trails here in the parks, it's a, it's a really great spot to be. And as I also mentioned earlier, Brayside is centrally located and also close to downtown. So grayed out right here is where downtown St. Albert would be. And this is also where the farmer's market's taking place. So as you can see, if you're in Brayside, you can just walk over. You wouldn't have to worry about parking or driving or anything like that. You have quick, convenient access to not only St. Albert's downtown, but the farmer's market in the summer. Now, a lot of these green blobs, <laughs> they're just, they're, they're big parks and these green blobs on the map don't really do it justice as to how nice these parks actually are. 
especially this big green blob right here. This is the Brayside Ravine running. So you can see it runs through a big chunk of Brayside. Now, this is a very cool trail and spot to check out, whether you're into running, walking, biking, taking the stroller, whatever you're into, I definitely recommend taking a stroll through the Brayside Ravine. Brayside just has the two schools, so Richard S. Fowler, a junior high school right here, and then also Sir Alexander McKenzie Elementary School right here. There's also the Fowler Athletic Park, if you're into that kind of stuff. And then also worth mentioning about Brayside is this section of homes right here. Not only is this section one of the most sought after and desirable areas of Brayside, but also St. Albert as well. As you can see, some of these lots are pretty big. A lot of these are double lots. So there is a ton of infill development going on in this neighborhood. And Brayside is also one of the few neighborhoods in St. Albert that still have laneways or back alleys. So if your zoning permits and your development permits and building permits, all that kind of stuff permit you to, you can build, which some people have, you can build what's called a garage suite. Some people call it a laneway home. Some people call them carriage homes. It's basically a secondary residence on your property that you can rent out to somebody else to help pay your mortgage, or you can have somebody in your family or friend or whoever living on your property as well, which is pretty cool. So how much do homes in Brayside cost? Well, we don't have a ton of data, but we have a little bit more than we had in Woodlands. 2020, 54 homes sold in Brayside for an average sale price of $370,501. Yeah, that $1 matters. And a median sale price of $359,450. So what does an average home in Brayside look like? Let's go take a look. All right, there it is right there. That home right there, it's an 1,883 square foot, three bed, one and a half bath, four level split. It's sold for $370,500. And for the folks who are looking to live in Brayside on a budget, the lowest price home sold in Brayside 2020 was a unit in this complex right here. It was a 1,092 square foot, three bed, one and a half bath, two story condo that sold for $142,000. And for the folks who have a larger budget who wanna live in Brayside, this home right here, can't even get the whole thing in the shot. <laughs> this was the most expensive home that sold in Brayside in 2020. It's a 3,450 square foot, five bed, three full bath, two half bath, two story home that sold for one point. Thought I was gonna do it again, didn't you? No, this one actually sold for over a million dollars. It sold for $1,133,500. So my number two pick, do you agree or do you disagree? Let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions about moving to Brayside or any neighborhood in St. Albert, I'd love to help you out. Call me, email me, text me, however you prefer to communicate. I'd be happy to answer your questions. My contact information will be in the description below. Now make sure to subscribe to this channel for all things St. Albert, all things real estate, as well as for my number one pick, the top neighborhood in St. Albert. So hit that bell notification so you get notified when that video uploads. If you're watching this video in the future, I'll put it on the screen right now. I'll see you in the next video.